Hey guys, it is Sunday, August 18th. I only know that because it's already very late in the day. I have no idea what time is it now. Let's go check. I don't know. We know. 4.57 p.m. <laughs> we spent the day moving things around and purging. And um, I think we almost have this front room set up how we want where we can do puzzles and play games in it as a family. We have some memorabilia and glassware. We're gonna put a table out here so we can also use it as a dining room. So anyway, we're exhausted. I've gotten no art done today. I did get my post done, but no paper clip or anything. And I don't know that one's gonna get done today. So we might just have to skip it today and do two tomorrow. So we'll see. All right, I'll be back. We're finally sitting down. Fred's marinating the chicken for the barbecue. And I've got to plug my new lamp in and point it my way. I almost forgot. Oops. Our uh, future son-in-law, Polly, has just got back from a school trip to Vietnam and Japan, and he brought these back to us. I don't know what that says. Some kind of cheese-flavored, pie-flavored cookie? I don't know. There were two little bags of them in here, so we're going to both try it. I'll let you know what okay, I think. I'm gonna turn the camera on here because we're both opening it right now. Well, I opened mine first, my husband's doing it now. I just took a smell, it smells like cheesecake. Yeah, it smells just like cheesecake. Yeah, it smells like cake. Yeah, cheesecake. Mmm, cheesecake flavored cookies. Like Pocky, but cheesecake flavored. Thank you, Polyus. They're good. <laughs> Yummy. Cheese, cheesecake on a stick. Cheesecake on a stick. Cool. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's Monday morning, August 19th, 9.51 a.m. Don't get all excited. I'm in the car. I'm looking at the clock, and I already checked the thing on the phone. I need to go out. Kind of would like another cup of coffee, but I need to go out. First, I need to adjust the seat so my feet actually hit the pedals because my husband was driving my car before. He's six foot one. <laughs> I'm five two and a half on a good day, so <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Anyway, I've got a So I made another big painty mess and there's painty fingerprints all over my cell phone. But holy cow, let me turn the camera around. I 
like it. I'm going to sit with it for a little bit. I'm going to let it, it's going to take a couple days to dry. I use some of the wax medium on some of the colors. Wow. I'm not sure I want to add anything else to that. Holy moly. All right. What do you all think? I'm going to take some pictures for social media. And if you follow me over there, you can let me know. All right, I'll be back. is there a lot of deer around here obviously because I keep showing them to y'all um, y'all evidently we also found out this weekend that Oregon is or was the skunk capital spot <laughs> the Portland area anyway so that explains the other night all right we're gonna continue on our walk we'll be back. morning it's the 20th of August, Tuesday morning, 10.59 a.m. Don't get excited. I've already been like up for a few hours on the computer, straightening some stuff out. I didn't get done yesterday because I had a um, USB hub that was failing, which I don't remember at this point if I've mentioned or not. Anyway, I had to go to two different stores to find one that works for my computer that had enough ports in it for everything I need being plugged in. Anyway, it's all taken care of and things are, the computer's doing its thing right now. I needed to do some stuff actually yesterday that I didn't get done, so it's doing it now. Anyway, I'm gonna go out and run some errands. I'm supposed to help a neighbor with, an, um, with something, but she's gonna let me know when she wants that done and in the meantime, I've gotta run errands, so. I'm not gonna hang around for her to call me. We'll see what happens. But I'm dreading running errands, not not because it's too peopley out there, it probably is, but they're still doing construction outside my little community and that means getting in and out is gonna be a bigger pain than normal. They're repaving, putting in new medians. That's a pain in the neck. All right, let's go get it done. I'm gonna hit Dollar Tree first. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I don't know if any of y'all have been watching my channel since I moved and set up the art room or you watched any of the art room organizational videos, but I have a medium-sized Target Y Weave basket, this one, that normally sits over there in the blank space. That holds the majority of my painting tool tools, my brushes and things, and more, most commonly used mark making tools found objects, Dollar Tree objects, um, like these sort of nylon scrubby things. I just got myself a new finger brush. I wore the old one out. Um, old eyebrow brush, things like that. Um, along with my paint brushes and different things. Um, I had it organized, not too dissimilarly from what you see now, um, but that can, containers or dividers in the basket that were holding everything were various kinds of jars, which worked great, but there was some lost space in the basket and it wasn't quite organized the way I want and it was a little too hard to get things. And I dawned on me this, t this, this morning, I've got all these half gallon plastic milk jugs that aren't recyclable. 
if I'm gonna toss them in the trash, I wanna toss less of them in the trash and try to repurpose at least part of it. So I last week broke, I talked about breaking one of my glass water containers. The milk jug fit perfectly. I cut the top of it off. I'm reusing the bottom. The only part that went in the trash is the top part that I cut off. Um, so that's a little bit of a step in the right direction. It dawned on me today I could get milk cartons in the wide weave basket. Now you can get nine of them in here. I only have eight because number one, that's all I have. But number two, I want to be able to fit these right here and they don't really need to be in a milk carton. Um, I just cut the tops off <laughs> and they fit perfect. So there's a little tip for y'all. Half gallon milk jugs for storage in the art room. They work like a charm. All right, I'll so be back. I wanted back. to tell you all about, uh, update you about the uh, wax and acrylic paint experiment. Uh, the DecoArt cream wax dried um, pretty quickly within um, the day or two. The Powertex wax is finally dry. Um, I did this at eight, on 8-14-19 at 1-17 p.m. We're now August 20th. Um, so the Powertex, which is the wax medium that's intended to be blended with oil paint or acrylic, um, is actually dry. And this is a pretty hefty size, thick blob of that. And it, it, it did take almost a whole week to dry, but it is dry. Um, the Dorlins, which is the one that I have, I actually use it as a finish coat on paintings. Um, it's intended for using with oil paint. Um, um, if you use it alone without mixing it with anything, it works great as a uh, protective sort of uh, waxy matte hard finish on paintings and it doesn't reactivate. It's not like your traditional wax, so it doesn't reactivate when it gets hot. Um, so I generally use it for that. Um, here mixed, mixed with acrylic paint, um, which you're not supposed to do, is not recommended. Um, the flat parts are dry, the streaky parts, that big giant blobby part, that is still wet. <laughs> so I don't know, see, uh, let's see, see? Um, I don't know if it will dry eventually, but it's definitely still wet after a week. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update. I'm gonna leave it sit on the shelf and out of the way and just let it just sit and chill. We'll see if it ever does dry, I'll let you know. All right, I'll be back, but Powertex, Power Wax, uh, wax medium works great with acrylic paint and I've been using it in the last couple paintings I've done. I'm hooked. All right, I'll be back Hey guys, it is almost 1 o'clock on Wednesday the 21st. I spent the morning working on the big painting again the new one I added some more colors to it. I was gonna leave it muted but uh, maybe the next one. I just wasn't able to do that. Anyway, I like the way it turned out and I'll put a picture here somewhere. We're gonna go check the mail. Hopefully I actually got my mail today. I didn't yesterday. I do have informed delivery and I let them know though, so we'll see. Anyway, I spent the morning chatting with friends and stuff like that, so let's go check the mailbox and I'll be back. Looks like I got yesterday's mail and today's mail. I think the mailman just didn't want to be bothered getting around the construction that's out on the road outside of our community. So he didn't deliver anything yesterday. That's my theory anyways. I'm gonna go sit and have lunch. And then I still have to make today's paper clip and maybe do a couple other things upstairs. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna start a new canvas and I'm going to use a page. Ugh out of my color inspiration journal as inspiration, that's what it's for. I'm gonna really challenge myself, I think, this time because the colors on this are these. So we're gonna be mixing and blending colors to come up with these. And I'm gonna to try to stick to that, which will be interesting. And it's, you know, the images on the page are very abstracted. And what is it going to be? I don't know. But yeah, this is where we're going to start. All right, I'll be back.
It's a good start, I think. We'll see where it goes. Good morning. It's Thursday morning, just after 9 a.m., August 22nd. I only know that because I've already been on the computer. I have some computer work to do, some um, things to do I can't do until 10 a.m. and I'm just driving myself crazy sitting in front of the computer. So I'm gonna go downstairs and do the dinner dishes from last night because I didn't do them yet. And empty the dishwasher, which is clean. Uh, yeah, do some chores. And um, yeah, hopefully that kills some time and then I can come back up here and get done what I need to and then go run some errands. All right, I'll be back. I wanna try a few experiments on it. Oh, those are the wrong glasses, holy cow. <laughs> those won't help me with the sun. Well, let's try these, shall we? There we go. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so we got some happy mail from Connie Kruger. Uh, thank you, Connie, very much. The ladies at the P.O. Box were so excited for me. <laughs> they said, can you open it now? We wanna see what's inside. <laughs> Um, I did take a quick peek, but I'm going to not delve too far into the box and we will open the rest and read the letter um, when I get home. Uh, and I'll open the box on camera. I won't read the letter on camera, but I'll open the box on camera. And um, yeah, now I need to go to the grocery store, so I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It's technically still morning. It's Friday, August 23rd, and it is, what time is it? 11.15 a.m. Um, yeah, wow, so my future son-in-law's Facebook page, I think it's been hacked, so I'm just letting him know. I've been on and off the phone with Best Buy's Geek Squad and the Apple Store people, and the short story is I'm taking my phone in to the Apple Store people tonight and I'm gonna um, get the cracked screen fixed finally my husband's gonna do his too but I think my phone needs a new battery so we're filming on it right now we filmed the vlog on it anyway uh, I think the battery is having an issue and um, it's having problems keeping the phone charged and I'm going through the entire phone case uh, I have a charging phone case and I'm going through the entire battery on that too so that's a problem and it says service on it under settings so yeah I may not get my phone back until Sunday, Monday. So we will be filming the rest of the vlog with maybe the digital camera. We're supposed to hit the road tomorrow to go and um, have lunch with my mom. She's a few hours away. So um, thankfully my husband's driving because I don't know directions for crap. And we will have, at worst case scenario, his work phone and our old out-of-date Garmin GPS. So he knows where he's going. I'm not doing any driving around or road trips till I get my phone back. Cause yeah, that's a thing. All right, that's it for the moment, I think. I'll be back. 
Okay, so we're definitely taking my phone in tonight. I already said that, I know. I'm going to be without it, at least for a few hours. Worst case scenario, a few days. Anyway, um, I was just working on some projects, painting some paper, well, painting a canvas, and then I had leftover paint, so painting some paper with the leftover paint. Um, I was moving things around, so this is our wax experiment, and while the other two are completely dry, the door lens, which is this one in the middle, is drying. It's still soft to the touch, and it's still able to be moved around, so I would probably say that if you're going to use door lens with acrylic paint, which it's not meant to do, let me say that, it says it right on the label, it's not meant for acrylic paint, it's meant for oil paint. It's an oil paint wax medium. But if you're going to use it with acrylic paint, I mean, you'll get an interesting blend. It'll, you know, maybe kind of work, but it's going to take forever to dry. So. Anyway. All right. I'm going to continue on with my bits and pieces and experiments. And I think I'm kind of, I think I have to wash brushes because I have no more space to like work on anything until something dries and I can get it out of the way. So that's a thing. All right. I'll be back. guys, happy Saturday morning. It is 9.57 a.m. August 24th. Is that right? 20-something. 20-something. I almost said April. 24th. I think it's the 24th. Anyway, we're on a drive uh, north uh, to Washington State to um, hang out with my mom and take her out to lunch. Uh, Dad Hey guys, we are back home from visiting with my mom today and it was a fun day, but a long one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just sit now and watch some YouTube. Well, I'm going to, he's gonna watch TV. Right, Fred? Fred says yes. Yeah, see. All right, so we hope you've had a good week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will put any relevant links in the description below. And yeah, go out and have a great day, have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and we'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.